Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Scale is Needed. Hi, you guys. Oh, hello. Uh, That's the voice we're all doing. Do the voice. <laughs> I'm still not sure what accent we that is. We talked about like this a more before. clear definition, I need motivation mm -hmm. there. Damn it, Clifford. You just fucked it all up. All right. Hey, guys. Whoa. Fitness. Um, yeah, so... <sighs> It was me. Just I burped. I burped into the mic. Damn it, Chase. Like, seriously? It's been five All right, minutes. starting over. We're Chase uh, loses microphone privileges. <laughs> you've you've been de-miked. Mm -hmm. Man, do you guys remember the hole? Yeah. I, I wish yeah. we still had the hole. We need to put Chase in the hole. I'm glad we don't have the hole anymore. Those episodes are really annoying. Those were good times. <laughs> good stuff. Um, <laughs> you know, it is with a... This is very low. It is with a heavy heart. Yes. It is with a, a sad, heart. drooping dick. Yes. With which I break this news. Mm. Mm -hmm. Jacob Hepner will not be competing. Boo! For the rest of the season. What the heck? What happened What the there? heck is right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if there was anything that was going to break my heart, it was going to be the possibility is of... Is it because rather than injuring himself, he used his fitness and just ruined all of the fitness equipment by breaking it and therefore can't participate in the Open anymore? Uh, yeah, That's my guess. He injured everyone else is what yes. he did, yeah. uh, which is against the rules, oddly enough. No, I the the thing that was going to break my heart the most was the remote possibility that Brent Fikowski would not make it to regionals yes. in the new format. Um, but that seems to have resolved itself, mm -hmm. given the the eighteen point five is still out there, but he has a pretty decent buffer. Yeah, yeah. how did he do? I did see him perform the wasabi thing. Yeah, uh, so he was he was last place in the open mm -hmm. humiliation um, this past week, but uh, he's he's like sitting in fourth or third or fourth and in his tied region for third. tied for third with like a 30 point buffer between him and sixth place All right, that's pretty good so that's pretty good i mean he did not seem to enjoy the wasabi no no he did not yes. but who would um so that was kind well. of the big possibility of of my heart being broken in 2018 uh and now an unexpected reality has yes. taken place and jacob hepner has has posted a mm -hmm. terrible score for 18.4. Uh. I don't even know if he actually submitted it. It was 104. He didn't submit it. There you go. Um, so he didn't even hmm. submit a score for 18.4. So he really didn't submit it because he did poorly because he's not fit? Precisely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not. Yeah. not fit. We all know that Jacob Hepner is terrible at handstand push-ups, handstand walking. Uh, we knew that was a liability going in. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. And it no. all played out. And holes were exposed. Since we're in backwards day, <laughs> I'm going to agree with you guys. Uh, yeah, so the fact of the matter is Jacob Hepner is is one of the fittest human beings on earth and him not making it to regionals is is uh, a fucking farce is what it is. Yeah. But uh, the reason is mm -hmm. the new handstand push-up standards mm. uh, that garbage is is probably probably wasn't play tested to the way it should have been play tested. So do you think that his dimensions as a person disadvantaged him in the standard? Yes. Okay, interesting. So the the standard was uh uh the standard was your height mm -hmm. plus one half of your the forearm forearm so to elbow knuckle elbow to length. knuckle. Yeah. Yeah. So one one half of that yeah, of yeah. that measurement. So conceivably, if one had short legs and a very long forearm to knuckle length, that would be bad. Yeah, it or really is, is it the other way around. What it, what it is is the the relationship between the forearm, the elbow to knuckle length, the forearm length, and yeah. your entire arm. Yeah, yeah. So like, if your if your proportions are so fucked up that like your mm -hmm. uh you know your arm is 90 percent forearm mm -hmm. like jacob hepner is yes. his his upper arm is very very short which is yes. what makes his triceps look so gigantic he's the monster from cloverfield with just yes big long basically front yes <laughs> yes that are all he's, forearm he's like it's like a, a gorilla. giant uh orchid face that opens up full of teeth yeah which is where the demogorgon's original design came from they there just stole it from cloverfield yes um, if only the demogorgons weren't such fucking pussies they, they if come only on demogorgons um but that's the measurement, right? Yeah. If you have a forearm that is that is a large proportion of your actual arm length, like out of proportion for your mm -hmm. actual arm length, then what what's happening is you're getting a ton of room added to your handstand push up mm -hmm. with actually no real reason to yeah, have yeah. that room added to your handstand yeah, push up. Yeah. You have a higher standard than someone who has the exact same length of arm but an elbow in a different place. 
Precisely. Yep. There you go. Yes, and that's what happened to him. I was, I was, I looked at his video, and uh, he was like basically doing his handstand push-ups with like his fingers against the wall mm-hmm. and his his hands like directly under his head, and was yep. still unable to, to hit, hit the, the hit the mark. Yeah. So is it is that the thing that contrib? So so explain to me. Give give me some more context here. So he just put up a bad score because he kept missing on handstand push-ups. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Here? He he was he was so bad at the handstand push-up standard that he actually fatigued out and yeah. was unable to complete the handstand push-ups that, as necessary. That video huh. there, like, it shows him taking a rest during Diane and someone with his level of capacity for handstand push-ups, that, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't even know if this is his second time doing it, if he just did it once. Or... Yeah, I can see how close his hands are together, if that's him doing it. Now, the... you know, aside from Jacob Hepner's, you know, strangely baby-like head-to-arm ratio, you know, can't reach over and yeah, yeah. touch the top of his head type thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he also does have like pretty pretty jacked back situation mm-hmm. when it comes to his handstand push-ups. Mm-hmm. His back is always a little bit off kilter. Mm-hmm. You know, he's not in like this really tight, great position, Neutral which is position. also playing against him. Yeah. yeah. But he uh, shares that trait with Brooke Wells, mm-hmm. who is like one of the best in the world at this workout. Mm-hmm. So. You know, I'm not 100 percent sure what happened on, which is, by the way, really impressive considering she's generally not yeah, yeah. been great at handstand push-ups. Yeah, yeah. But you know, this new, uh, this new standard wasn't you know really that destructive for her. Whereas mm. for for Hepner, it was like absolutely destructive. And you can mm. see at the top of his handstand push-ups, his elbows are like barely past the top of his, his head, <laughs> which is you know, I mean, it's just his proportions are all fucked up. And uh, yeah. yeah. And I, sucks. I believe him. I believe him that this is this is a, a an issue with the standard. Mm-hmm. And this, and the, I and I know and it's definitely the standard because it's not consistent across the board. Like there's a lot of people that went up and couldn't get their feet over the over the line. Um, but me, somebody that's terrible at handstand pushups, uh, this the standard helped me out a lot. I was two to three inches over. You know, when I was fresh, it was closer to that three or four inch range. Mm. Um, so for me, it was like it's really, really helped because I have these long forearms, but I also have a long bicep. Mm. Yeah, I think I think um, you know one one thing that we saw was this didn't make the handstand pushups harder across the board. Mm. For some people, it it actually Made shortened. It easier, yeah, yeah it shortened the distance they had to travel. Some people it lengthened the distance they mm. had to travel. Some people there was no change. Mm. And I mean, listen, CrossFit is classically about. Hey man, here's an arbitrary yeah. fucking standard. Let's just make this shit up, and that's yeah. it's always been like that. Yeah. That's fine. It's just that there was this is such a, an over engineered standard. It's not like Absolutely. stand there and it's six inches above your head or something like that. It's like, but so if it's this level of over engineered, you would think that the level of over engineering of this would be to neutralize all variables or to make it equal for everyone and that's what surprises me about uh, about this because it's like it's one thing if it's if it's six inches above your head or something that's kind of seems like it would apply equally to everybody then maybe you would see more of this but it's like such a specific thing you would assume that it was tested on a lot of different body types i mean it was probably tested on a dozen different body types uh or you know, if I was if I was Dave Castro, I would probably start by texting all the games athletes like the out of the top ten, mm-hmm. and I would ask them for their measurements. Yeah. I'd be like, "Hey, I, we're trying to figure out the handstand push-up standard." Mm-hmm. I'd be very clear with them. We're trying to figure out the handstand push-up yeah. standard. I need your height, I need your arm length, and I need the segments of your arm length. Mm-hmm. Like, I need to know Ooh. shoulder to elbow. I need to know shul- elbow yeah. to wrist. But That's even it. that, just from a statistical standpoint, wouldn't make much sense because if you're if you were selecting the top ten like finishers, it, then it's also the kind of thing where it's like you're kind of continuing to now create standards that pre-select for a pr- particular body type that has been traditionally successful in CrossFit. Sure. You know, and which I'm saying is like, you know, maybe here's what we do. We uh, just guys, big guys, fat guys. Mm-hmm. We just ask for their measurements because they need a leg up. They need confidence. Okay. And what does that do? All right. You, we give it to them. We give one workout to them. It makes all the other people have to work that much harder. And that is how we increase performance. Someone cut me off. I don't know what I'm talking anyway, about. Anyway, so <laughs> the the this is there have been a lot of standards of handstand push-ups. Jesus, everyone's just dropping things right now. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? 
Uh, there have been a lot of various standards for handstand push-ups in the CrossFit mm. world. In uh, 2009, at the games, it mm. was like parallel, very deep. Yeah, yeah. At regionals, it's always been the box. You know, usually like a three foot by yeah, two yeah. foot box, and your hands have to stay in the box, and where your feet go doesn't really matter. Mm. I mean, there are other there are other factors involved. You know, like you, mm. your butt can't touch, or your your heels have to be at the top, whatever. Mm. And then over the past couple of years at the Open, the standard has been like the, again a very over engineered, mm. very strange fucking way of measuring mm. things, which was you know feet underneath your hips hands together at the top measure where your wrist is and then take three inches off that yeah, measurement yeah, yeah. which again you don't need fucking calculus to figure out yeah, yeah. what a good handstand push-up looks like i mean yeah. really all you need to do is give some sort of a, a base mm-hmm. that gives you width like your hands cannot be more than you know like outside of your hands can't be more than seven inches outside of your shoulders or whatever yeah, the fuck yeah. it is. You know what I mean? Like you you're just basically trying to avoid the super wide like yeah, tricep yeah. pump yeah, handstand yeah. push up and where the top of your handstand push up is a starfish. But this has been such a fucking shit show for mm. CrossFit for the past like four years, basically just just randomly coming up mm. with new strange handstand push up standards and it's on the athletes to, you know, adapt to it, which mm-hmm. is fine. I mean that's part of competition. But at the end of the day you have to be able to, as the organizer of an event like this, mm-hmm. to be able to fucking say, like, hey, guys, we may have messed up here or we may not have done all the math we should have done. Mm-hmm. You know, because when some people look at we this. We may and, have broken a bunch of guys by a pectoral muscles. We, by we <laughs> may have broken a bunch of guys' pecs, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, like you look at something like this and you're like, oh, man, Jacob Hefner's uh. proportions are or Jacob Hefner couldn't do this workout. Well, he fucking won the handstand walk yeah, event yeah. at the games the last time he competed, and he is usually winning the handstand push up yeah, event yeah. at regionals or the open. So I don't know what that tells you. Mm-hmm. He didn't get bad at handstand push ups all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's not what happened. Mm-hmm. What happened was there was a change arbitrarily to mm-hmm. the standard, and you can't put the onus on him to, like, oh, you, you didn't adapt appropriately yeah, yeah, to yeah. this. Because in reality, what you're saying. What you're seeing here is if in a bell curve, everyone, you know, two standard deviations mm-hmm. from average fits within 99%, mm-hmm. he is the 1%, mm-hmm. right? He is the one guy who is who shouldn't be but is negatively affected by yeah, this yeah. to the point where he's not fucking competing at the games for the second year in a row. Yeah. But you know what? Castro will make it up to him. By off from spot on the demo team. That is the fucking bullshit. Team. You know for a fact that Jacob Pepper <laughs> will gonna, not take that. He's gonna get to pick up that snake over and over. He's again. gonna say that he's worm. gonna say thank you, but no thank you. And um, he's probably gonna if uh, you know if Castro might offer to have him test some of the CrossFit Games events, but even that I doubt. Jacob yeah, would, and, would, and we do have a precedent for, for several years of, of, of a kind of uh, of a not not only not acknowledging it, but no no sort of compensation other than like better luck next year, like yeah. which happened to Sam Briggs after she won the CrossFit Games, and the next year they introduced the standard of uh, during regionals of having to make the entire handstand walk without making like if you deviated at all once right, that was you your score, off, done, yeah. yeah. With and then they changed that the next year. That standard has never been a thing, so it's like oh, I guess we fucked up, but it's on her. To now to suffer the consequences of how them having fucked yeah. up that year. So. CrossFit has yeah. has always been their mo is fuck you mm-hmm. deal with it mm-hmm. and it always has been except this year it seems like they're even more in the they're like really leaning into the fuck you deal mm-hmm. with it. I don't know if, if Chase was able to send it over to mm-hmm. Daniel. So uh, on Reddit, CrossFit Games created a Reddit account mm-hmm. uh, maybe a few months ago, and recently um, they basically have been more active on reddit mm-hmm. mostly just garbage shit i mean they're mostly just you know like oh look it's uh the mm-hmm. uh, fucking podcast or behind mm-hmm. the scenes of the games or whatever and but let's talk about that podcast for we will minute. talk about that podcast because i'm still unclear who hosts that podcast we'll, we'll talk okay, we'll get good. there we'll get there because it, it's it look on a lot like list. our podcast it's on our oh they no, no, no. stole our idea for a podcast no no no, no. But, well, okay we'll get we'll get there we'll get there uh so you know there's a there's a bunch of stuff that that CrossFit has posted, including things like, quote, the fact that a standard is deemed controversial or not liked by some people does not shift reality. It's okay to be caught off guard and shocked. There will be unknown and unreleased information and standards that play a role in CrossFit Games competitions. Mm -hmm. Or, let's go and scroll down, there's another one that's fantastic here. Uh, 
a top athlete does not change the rules or standards or practice competition style workouts, developed handstand push up, have a friend judge you. They're, they're basically being like, okay, well, here you go, man. If you're a fucking beginner or an average person and you're trying to get better at handstand push ups, yes, the standard is probably going to. Yeah. You know, have some effect on you, but really, you have to get better at handstand push-ups. Mm -hmm. We're talking about one of the motherfuckers who's the best in the world at this, mm -hmm. and you're you're basically turning it around and saying he's a complainer. Yeah, he's yeah. making a big a big deal out of nothing. And yeah. in reality, what should be happening is CrossFit coming out and saying something like, "Let's see if this is actually accurate." Mm -hmm. Like, what what is the delta between mm -hmm. the measurement for? Uh, Jacob Hefner this year versus last year versus the regional mm -hmm. measurements because they're all different. It's so, like what's the difference is there? Is it is it like three and a half inches mm -hmm. or is it minimal? Like you know what what does it what does it make? Because mm -hmm. when I was at Hefner's barn and at his gym in October, he was quote unquote not enhanced in push up shape, mm -hmm. but was still knocking out sets of forty or fifty. Yeah, yeah. And always every single time and he did like seven workouts while mm -hmm. I was there for two days. And he did handstand push-ups in three or four of them. Yeah, yeah. And every single time, he used the regional standard. Yeah, yeah. So he was doing the open standard. He was mm -hmm. doing the regional standard. He was practicing it based off of what mm -hmm. he knows. It's like... In and why are they changing the standards so frequently? What was the complaint of the pre previous standards that it needed to be augmented? It needed to be more anyway? complicated. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It needed to have more variability from person to person. There were complaints last year mm -hmm. wherein it was uh, the open standard anyway. It was very easy to cheat it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is really easy to cheat too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're, there's a lot of videos of people you know uh measuring their height from instead of their feet under their hips they're measuring their height from their feet at their shoulders mm -hmm. which is you know like that's maybe three quarters of an inch but yeah, three yeah. quarters of an inch when you know like chase and i did this fucking workout mm -hmm. and at even chase who was having a, a good time with the standard mm -hmm. when he was getting tired it was like pull your fucking toes pull your fucking toes because mm -hmm. his heel wasn't making it yeah, yeah. oh so yeah, yeah, yeah i mean three quarters of an inch makes a big fucking difference mm -hmm. So, you know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of fucking shenanigans in the CrossFit <laughs> Open. There always has been. There yeah. always will be shenanigans in the Open. Mm -hmm. And this type of like standard shifting garbage fucking like, hey, this this season baseball's weigh three ounces more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or this season mm -hmm. you, your basketball is is uh, two and a half inches yeah. diameter more. Mm -hmm. Or this, this season, season, this season, everyone has to wear size size nine shoes, and that helps some people and yeah. not others. There you go. On there, they're they're saying you know do the competition standards throughout the year and abide by it, and then you'll be ready for it. It's like no assholes, you changed it. Yeah, like yeah. I did that standard, and it was still different than what you put in front of me. Yep. I can't prepare for something I didn't know existed. Mm -hmm. Or that being said, uh, if they do want to augment the standards, you know, it might be interesting to augment those standards. You know, uh, like announce an augmented standard months in advance of the open. So rather than like in the next six days, you guys have to figure out this new handstand push-up standard. Say, hey guys, we want to announce some changes. Here's a new burpee standard. Here's a new handstand push-up standard. Here's a few new standards for the open season, which will start in a month. We can't guarantee that all or any of these movements will be in the open, but here are some new standards moving forward. And that would at least give time for a robust debate beyond the six days of the open uh, for them to for people to try it out, practice it, realize what is and isn't working, and then them to potentially change things. It's like when the new standard, it's not just that there are new standards, but it's that the newest standards are introduced literally the week of the workout, and all the workouts are performed over the course of the next six days. There's no it's room for error days. there. Yeah. It's like four. Kyle, four. that would require, like, planning. It would require planning. Forethought and buying dumbbells. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, you know, CrossFit is, uh, CrossFit has never and will never give a shit mm. enough to do that, mm. because we're all playing their game. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, this is just part of us playing their game. Yeah. But that's garbage. And I'm I think not playing they their game anymore. I'm Straight bodybuilding from here on out. Good. Curls. You tell them. Lateral raises. Bodybuilding and sugar. I have jumped onto a different train track, and I'm riding that thing all the way to Jacked City. Yeah. In fact, new, new Jacked City starring Wesley Snipes. In fact, it turns out in, in uh, the actual reason why I didn't do uh, the CrossFit Open workout this week was in protest of uh, Jacob Hefner's unfair treatment. Exactly. Which I just found out which about on this the podcast. Same thing. <laughs> 
Honestly. <laughs> It's the same reason I decided to not do any of the workouts up till now as a protest to sit out because I anticipated him being rejected. It, good work. Indeed, workouts. I'm going to carry the torch of protest for a long for a long time into the future for the rest of my life, really, by never doing a handstand push up again. Yeah, mm-hmm. your your foresight and commitment to the cause is admirable, guys. Yes. Well done. I I did not do any of the open workouts because I am unable to do them. Totally fair. 